We talk about the big story today. It will be the heat. It will be the humidity. It's back in full force. We've got a heat advisory out Tulsa, Bartlesville, heading down towards Muskogee, pretty much all in northeast Oklahoma. You're going to have to exercise caution today. I know we haven't shown this in a while, but stay hydrated folks. If you're out on errands, don't leave the pets. Don't leave the kids in the car and certainly limit the outdoor activities. You need to uh, do some lawn work, anything like that. Try to do that in the morning and evening and not the middle part of the day. Temperatures this morning lower to upper 70s. Again, hard to believe a couple days ago we were only in the 50s. Yesterday morning, you remember these dew points were in the 50s, still felt rather comfortable. Well, it does feel quite stuffy as dew points. As we look at the scale, yep, a little bit uncomfortable for us. So maybe take the kids to the splash pads today, the water parks to beat the heat. 91 at lunchtime later on today. Highs are going to be in the upper 90s for us. Thankfully, we will have a breeze. Seems like last week when some of those ozone alerts winds were very, very light, but today breezy, hot and muggy heat index by lunchtime already near 103 in town. And then later on today, it's going to range anywhere from 105 to 110. Heading into tonight, certainly have that jug of water or lemonade on hand. Temperatures tonight will be into the 90s. Sunset tonight about 845. It's going to be another very warm start to our TGIF heading into tomorrow afternoon. High temperatures, very similar to today. Might see a few more clouds moving later on in the day. Highs in the middle 90s and the heat index tomorrow afternoon. 105 to close to 110. Now, as we look at the forecast heading into Friday night, it's going to be a front back across portions of central Kansas, slowly nearing our area. I think by the time we wake up Saturday morning, I'm going to be tracking some showers. It's not going to be anything too widespread. If you have anything planned Saturday morning, might be a few passing showers. And then some of that activity will be moving its way across portions of uh, southeast Kansas, far northeast Oklahoma. So generally Saturday, most of the day, it's going to be I-44 to the north. If you're south of I-44, you're probably going to see dry conditions. But the front will nudge its way into green country. It's going to be a slow mover for us, even heading into Sunday. Yesterday, it looked like maybe just the morning hours would be wet. But now it looks like most of Sunday unsettled. In fact, we're going to be heading into an unsettled weather pattern next week. Not looking at any 90s next week, but daily chance of